Is your pizza coming out of the oven more like this or like this? If it comes out like this, then this might be the reason. When you are trying to stretch your pizza dough, never use a rolling pin. When you use a rolling pin, the natural growth of your dough, it will stop. And trust me, once you, once you press your dough by hand or by rolling pin, it will never grow back. It will probably grow back like 20-30% uh, of, uh, of, of its natural growth, but it will be a compressed, limited growth in your oven. Not many professionals will teach you these tricks. A normal dough will be formed like this, full of microfibers. As you can see, when you stretch, you see them breaking out. You see? And these, my friends, are the microfibers. If you press them with the rolling pin, it will become like this and it will stop growing. It stops all the natural growth and that's logical. If you press it as hard as you can, it can lead to digesting problems. If you start uh, stretching it with the rolling pin, it will compress and it will limit it's grow into the oven. Learning to stretch your pizza dough by hand and not by a rolling pin, uh, your pizza becomes more like an art. And that's what it should be a pizza. Even I, as a professional, I never use this rolling pin to make pizzas for my clients. If you think about it, you have to love what, what you're doing. You have to love the preparation side of the pizza. This pizza must become as beautiful as it can because this this pizza, once you eat it, it will become a part of you and not just something to fool your stomach. And that's how you should think about it. And even if I do hundreds of pizzas a day, I, I always stretch my pizzas by hand for my clients. I make it always by hand with love and I enjoy what I do. So I'm going to teach you how to maintain this quality. It's very simple and you need three main steps to learn this procedure. First of all, you need a smooth surface. If you can find the table uh, with a smooth surface. Second thing, you need semolina flour. Okay. And third, of course, you need a pizza dough. We start by putting the pizza dough on top of the semolina flour and just try to rotate like this. A small tip, when you rotate your left hand, rotate it with your elbow also. So don't rotate only, only your palms, but your elbow also. So start by rotating it, rotating it like this. Then you take the semolina flour and put on top of it. And be careful not to touch the edges. That's the most important thing of, of this uh, pizza stretching. Start by rotating like this. And um, little by little, you will press like this on the right side as you, as you, turn, as you turn your pizza dough. When you have a size like a, a little bit bigger than your palm, then you put your palm inside and start, you see, I, I don't even touch the edge. You put your palm inside without using too much force and start opening your palm. And these three fingers of, of your left hand, you also open like this, but never touch the edges. So be careful and you rotate it like so. You can use a little bit of semolina flour and start doing it like this. When you have space to, to put inside all, all two hands, all two palms, then you use it like this. Don't forget about your left arm. It should follow your palm. 
when you stretch your pizza dough like 60% of its total size, 60, 50%, 40% doesn't really matter that much. Then we should go to the second step. You clean all the semolina flour that it has uh, on top. Clean your working space like this. Come to the edge of your table, throw a little bit of semolina flour underneath only. Come to the edge of your table and leave it fall and leave it fall down like 40% uh, of its size. And then continue to do the same thing that you were doing earlier. For me, it takes up to 10 rounds to stretch it uh, fully. But that was one of the main tricks to take it to the, to the full size. But you can practice, you can use a little bit a little bit more of semolina flour. You can use a little bit more of semolina flour so it can drift a little bit more. Otherwise it, it can get stuck and you'll have a problem standing it. Now I'm gonna show you how these edges will come out of the oven. Just make sure before you put it into the oven that you don't have any semolina flour underneath. So just to clean it like this. Now I'm gonna show you what I was telling you early on about the ages and about the growth of, uh, of this dough. Just as an experiment. And just as an experiment, I will press these edges as you would do it by hand or by a rolling pin and I must show you the difference when it, when it will come out we can watch as it starts to grow of course it will pump a little bit because it doesn't have uh, pomodoro salsa nothing But all I want to show you in this experiment is uh, the growth of the edge of your pizza. What does it mean to have a natural growth and um, compressed growth, a limited compressed growth? Okay, I'm gonna take it out because it doesn't have any Pomodoro salsa or something else and it will dry. But um, I guess that this show you all what does it mean to have a, a natural grown pizza and these are the edges that we we created by hand without touching the edge <clears throat> and this is how it looks like without touching the edge and this is where we where we pressed the edge and um, uh, if we if we were to use um, a rolling pin it would be even worse than this so you can uh, you can easily find out the difference as you can see these are the results of your dough without pressing the edges and doing it by hand and this this is the small uh, the, the small place where i pressed it by hand as you can see this side it has a minimal growth because we pressed it and imagine if you would have pressed it with a rolling pin so these are the main reasons why you should never use a rolling pin these were the tips of the day if you have any problems with your dough if you need any help uh, just write down uh, in the comments and i'll make sure to respond and help you make the best pizza you can wherever you are
Thanks once again for watching my videos and until the next time from Los Brano, bye bye.